can't. But for the parents that have to work and then you say your child to go, no, try to carpool or make sure that your child is never walking alone because yeah. these and, predators and the are part. out there. Yeah, that's, that's the hard part because you're right. You do have parents that have to work and be like, well, I can't take my child to school all the time because I can't keep being late for work and I don't want to lose my job, which is understandable. But then, yeah, try to find a way with that they could go within the group. Because in most cases, some, in most cases, there are kids that all go to the same school in the same neighborhood. So they go as a group. You know what I mean? Y'all can go as a group together and, and I feel, because, shoot, man, I mean, these days, wow. I mean, I think parents are, are brave and I, I think it's a, it's a lot. I know Right. This day in time, I couldn't let my child walk to school. Oh, no. It's like I am too paranoid. Like, no right. way. Like, no, 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 no. Shoot. Right. Even back then, I barely would do it. But then when we did back then, my kids were growing up. And there was a group going together. Right. You know what I mean? And right. then if there wasn't, then I'd just take them. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I, I couldn't. You know what I mean? That, that's hard. That, that's and jobs hard. need to be a little more lenient. Yeah. It needs to be yeah. a law that you, yeah. you you have to allot a parent. And the, then the schools need to provide a before and after school program for yeah. at, at a affordable rate yeah. to which you you don't have to even worry about um, you know, well, how am I going to work? Because I need to work in order to take care of my child but then you know my child especially a female is walking to school down an alley like that is the first no-no but you know i'm pretty sure and i'm not gonna say i'm pretty sure i think and i believe that that incident was in another country because the writing was not um you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're just looking at the whole school, surrounding school thing. Programs is a good thing too, yeah, you right? just you you have to up, I, make that affordable. Yeah, they always say that it's hard with the after school programs because this is not yeah, all these budget cuts. Watch who you put in office. See is my take on that. You could afford an after school program and put more money into it if you stop fixing the roads a thousand times and fix it the right way the first time. All that money he's going in this world, I mean, where are they going? Yeah, infrastructure. You fix the same no. roads five times. Half of that can go to these school projects, after right. school programs. Because those there are the go. programs that they cut in yes. first. Yes. That's the sad part about it. The same roads over and over again. Those Come are on. the programs that they're taking away, the programs that these parents need yes. to um, yes. help them take care mm -hmm. of their children. And, you know, that I want to stress, like, you know, sometimes when I even see these young kids younger than the one that happened look like she can be somewhere between eight and ten but when you just see these young kids five and six year olds walking each other to school yo get out that bed and go take your kid to school may mm -hmm. or ask your neighbor but you know what if we were a lot kinder to each other then people would offer but watch who you offer because you don't even know. You don't even know because really at the end of the day, you can't tr trust the teacher. You can't trust the principal. You can't trust the pastor, pastor. You can't trust the preacher. You know what I mean? Life is hard. And at school, when you got, you know, some of these police officers at the school, when things still be happening, how about putting more than just one cop there? He can't be in both places, in the back of the school, the side of the school. Half of them ain't doing nothing. Put three or four of them over there. I mean, come on. I mean, rather than tax rates rain, Paul. I mean, how you expect one cop to do a whole scoop? That ain't gonna happen. And stop with put these more budget cuts. Watch yeah. who you putting on. Put office. more cops over there at the school. You know, I, you know, that's something we owe. I remember back in the neighborhood talking about how cops used to walk the beat half the time in the neighborhood. How about doing some of that some more? In some of these neighborhoods, that'd be pretty cool. Exactly. They can do some and on the flip side, hey, teachers out there, keep your hands off of people, kids. And that's another thing I'm tired of looking at social media. Yeah. And you just see grown people, grown, sitting over here, abusing people, young. Mm. I watched this video and the, the school, the teacher 
the little boy looked like he was three years old or something. And he went running down the hallway and the teacher went, knocked him down, picked him up by the feet, upside down and carried. That's not your child. That's not your child. And if it was your child, you would have no right doing that to your own child. Yep. And stop calling cops on kids eight years old, seven years old. I've seen that too. When yeah. it, uh, it, it, because the kid was all very verbal. You won't call it. Then you got a cop snatching up an eight-year-old kid. What the heck is and that? And a lot of them, they had a different disabilities. When you yes. know that your child is having a disability, your school and your staff should be equipped to handle that child. Call that child's parent. And we know it's hard being a teacher these days. It ain't easy with some of these disrespectful kids. We get it. But for those that have the discipline to know how to handle kids, great. For those that don't, do something else. Keep your hands off of other people's kids. Yeah. Because a lot of the times, what I am seeing is that it, the teachers, these grown, you know what, a double S people, <laughs> are sitting there snatching up these three, four-year-olds. Yeah. You sitting there, that is abuse. That's abuse all day. And all of this, oh, well, you know, he's no longer working here. No, what about the charges? Because you for sure would be charging the parents with abuse. Oh, definitely. And when you say, you know, just to put it this way, when y'all say he's no longer working here, we know how that works. You just sent him to another school. He's at another school. Come on. What, what good is that? So now he's somebody else's problem over there. So it's supposed to be fine over here. It's like, come on, we 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 all we can do better. We really and like we I have said, to do better by being our children. A teacher is hard. And then I know you teachers, and I know them. They say, well, we dealing with some of these disrespect. Well, we get that too. We get that. And some of those parents, yeah, I understand when you just kick the kick the kid out of school. Yeah, I, I would, especially a kid that's totally disrespectful. Cause and there's no no goodness in sight. And the parent ain't helping none. Get rid of them. Let them go to somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, let, let them go to school at juvenile hall because that's yeah. where they want. That's where it's they like, come on. anyway. There's no need for everybody. Every, all the other kids are suffering because this little boy. Then get them. Get rid of them. That's and it. get your child some help. Yeah. It is okay. It is okay. You should not be ashamed to say, "Oh well, you know, so and so was in council." First of all, you don't owe no one an explanation right. of what's going on with that's your child right. unless your child violated their child. That's but right. outside of that, worrying about what somebody going to think, yeah. like, hey, hey, look, I think they carried the Maury, canceled the Maury show, so you can't take them there anymore. Mm. But what we saying is our children are our future. And what I am saying is the moment you lay down unprotected and you decide to keep that child, you owe, listen, look at my lips. You owe that child a childhood without the violence and the drugs. Just there in the Bronx, there was a a daycare center, and that daycare center, a child died there, and that child was exposed to, I believe they said it was fentanyl. Watch where you put your kid. Watch where you put your baby. And I think that baby was one and a half years old or two years old. How do you call a parent and say, oh, well, you know, something happened to your child. Oh, I picked my child up from daycare and the child, you know, he sleeps. So I'm not thinking nothing of it. Next thing I know, my child is not responding. What is going on in this yeah. world today? Yeah. What is going on? Yeah. Guys, hey, this is... Um, sledge and lips <laughs> and so we thank you for allowing us to share this this is our opinion yes and like i said it is called to the point for a reason we are going to get to the point and let's talk about it we will talk about it we need to do better young parents and you know for the parents that have children or young adults that have their children young, be there to support. But for the children that come from violent households and you know that your parent wasn't even there for you, then you are not to allow your child, your parent, why why would you go and take your child 
to a, someone that taught you violence. We have to be careful and we have to use critical thinking, okay? Critical thinking. Guys, start. You know, it's not everyone that go to church is a goody goody, and that's not what I'm saying. Oh, but yeah. build your foundation around something outside of the street, okay? Yeah. So that is Melvin and Gail, and thank you thank for you allowing much. us to share Sprinkle, our Sprinkle. thoughts. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I don't know what I am going to do with him. We love you all out there. Be safe. Yeah, be safe. Be safe. And love your family be safe. And your kids. Yes, your children are your future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. I don't even know. Remember who sang it? But that is what the song said. Okay. No, Whitney sang it after somebody else. That wasn't her. Oh, okay. Anyways, but um, hey, take care. Take care. Take care of your children. Keep them safe. Teach them little techniques to keep themselves safe from these predators. Yes, from the predators out there riding in cars and walking along and offering them candy. You know, it seemed like that's an old school move, but they're still using it today. Keep our children safe. Teachers, stop trying to fight kids that's three and four years old, okay? Keep your hands off of people, children. Young adults, stop going to school thinking that it's a wrestling ring attacking these teachers. Okay, stop this and stop 